You are watching what the church won't say. Where we have difficult conversations at the foot of the cross. And today's episode is not going to be as difficult as interesting because we're going to be talking about will a woman's history make you say we're history? Hey, I'm your host Nathaniel Plenty. To my right is Ridiculous Nicholas Rendon. To my left is my man Jose Castro. And we are your hosts for this episode of What the Church Won't Say. Go get back into this conversation right after this shameless plug. Stay tuned. Bricks in danger, your chicks in danger. See, he will change ya. If you come hang with us, so put that weight up and get your weight up. We not haters, no, we just dangerous. Welcome back. Chicks in danger. So I'm just gonna throw this right out there, y'all. This is my question to y'all. I love that intro song. Uh, it's really catchy. It you is. That it is. Sure. It is. That's that's the joint right there. Yeah. So my question, I'm just gonna keep it simple. If you was dating a woman, you really feel her, attractive, godly woman, mature, got her own, mm -hmm. no kids. I'm, 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 I'm throwing you an alley oop, gentlemen. And she, as she get to know you, she said, I want to share something with you in my past. Um, I used to be a stripper. You know. And. Yeah. What would that, is that a deal breaker for you? What questions would you ask? Um, I don't think that would be a deal breaker for me. Wouldn't be a deal breaker no, for you? No, depending on where we're at in the relationship. You I mean, know? you're at a place where you are actually considering going into a monogamous, y'all dating, so you, you're thinking about going into the monogamous part of just you two dating and seeing if it can really, really be something and going towards that marriage situation. So right. That's where you are. Mono. Mano y mana. Yes, that's what you I, uh, I That wouldn't bother me. And again, like, I think people show you uh, how they feel about you, their mm -hmm. actions, and they show you who they are, if you pay attention. Mm -hmm. So, like, if she still has, like, some, you know, part of my language, some whole tendencies, I think you'll know that, which to me, that would be a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. But her past, being a stripper back in the day, uh, and uh, she's a completely different person, because people can change. It's just rare that they do. It's not easy. And you're right. It's, it's, <laughs> it's rare that they do. Is it really rare? That it, they, it, it, it really is, is, is rare. rare. Yeah, it is rare. rare. What do you guys think? You think it's rare? It's rare. I, I think it happens a lot more often than, than, than they're saying. But um, nevertheless, it's still it's still slim, though. Yeah. So uh, depending on where we're at and you know the feels that I get, how she's treating me, how she's acting when we go out, mm -hmm. right? I come back and she's always talking to somebody else, you know, because she's just so friendly, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I'm going to take all those things into consideration, but maybe yeah. just that, knowing that fact that she used to, it, it would not be a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. That's good. How about you? I don't, I wouldn't take it as a deal breaker right away, but I would be very cautious. Wow. Because, okay, so I look at myself, and I see, okay, I used to be a gang banger, you know, drug dealer. That was me. Which you used to be. I used to be. But God has transformed my heart, you know, and I'm no longer that. You know, I, I do still have some crazy tendencies, but I've learned how to manage them. Because <laughs> they're still there. You know, you can't say, like, oh, that's gone. No. Right. right. I have, so, taking that into consideration, I would look at this woman and say, uh, let me let me see how she is. Has she really gave her life to the Lord? Is she really trying to walk this path of faith for real, or is she just playing? You know what I mean. So those those are the things that I will consider. Another thing is, uh, depending on how bad the situation was, that would determine my decision to stay with her or leave her. Because there are some demons, man, that are just like you know tough. How would, you, how would you gauge that? Hanging out with her, you know, seeing, because people will show you who they are by their fruit. You will know them by their fruit. You guys are way better than me. You know? I would want to know, like, there are women that strip, and there are women that strip, but then they also get paid for sexual services. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm that. saying. Like, so yeah. I'm going to have to know yeah. exactly the magnitude of the mm -hmm. stripper you were. 
Right. Like, so I, did you just strip? Right. Or, or, or were you, you taking dudes? Oh, right. Were well, they taking the you back. home? Right. Or well, were they taking you home? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And going in the back. You know what I mean? Right. So that 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 right there wouldn't matter to me. I mean, because so let's say that she did. Yeah, I did a, a, all the above. Okay. Yeah. Right. Whole nine yards, right in the back. VIP. Yes. Showing the pee. All that. Yeah. So what if she? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Why? I'm sorry. So would you? <laughs> would so, that be a deal breaker? But she's being honest. Yeah, and she's being gotta, totally she, honest. You, gotta, you have to consider something here. Mm-hmm. If her being honest with you, mm-hmm. if she's willing to say like some, and she's done some just disgusting things, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but she tells you about she's it. She's being honest. What does that say about man? You know what? It's gross, and I want to throw up. Maybe not throw up, but I gotta respect the honesty. I it re- says a I, lot about her character. I completely, utterly respect. Yeah. Why? Because it says she cares enough about you and what we have now. Absolutely. You know, me and the Woodland Fairies, we're living in the here and now. I get it. Mm-hmm. I would, man, that goes a long way. With you. It goes a very long way, but that need, that don't mean necessarily you ain't disqualified for certain things. Correct. For me. <laughs> that is true, though. <laughs> let me, let, let yeah. me say this. Let me say this, gentlemen. Go ahead. When you think about a car and you're financing a the car, they run your credit. Yeah. To see what you're eligible for. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a car possibly, but let's see what type of car you're eligible of for. You're not eligible for everything yeah. based off your credit. Same thing with a house. They run your credit to see what type of house. A hut, a mansion, something in between. Same thing with your with, even with a you want to get a job. They what work Look experience you have. Yeah, what yeah, experience yeah. you have. What education you got yeah. because it may qualify you or disqualify you for certain positions. Yes. And I'm not saying that I won't take a chance, but there's some chances at this point, and I'm a little bit older than you gentlemen, I can't roll the dice on certain things. And you may have, did, not that I'm better than anyone, but you may have disqualified yourself from being in yeah. my life, depending on what you've done. I, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm being honest with you. I cannot knock that, honestly. Yeah, I, I yeah, can't. You can't, because, you, can, you that's, know. That's wisdom, honestly. Because, like I said, you have to really consider the type of demons that you're willing to battle. Because you know, as a husband, you have to heal your wife. Yes. And, and... And you're not going to know the magnitude of the trauma until you guys are married or living together. Because, you know, people, when, when people are dating, they're going to show you their best selves. Yes. They're going to try to control. Representative. Yeah, yes. they're going to try to control their, their uh, compulsive behaviors the, the better that they can because they don't want to show that to you yet. Right. But once you tie the knot, you know what I mean? It's like whatever. So... That's the thing I could see, you know, your point of view because it's like you have to really consider and ask yourself, am I willing to battle all of these things? You got to you gotta ask yourself that and I think about the verse, guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. Amen. Meaning your heart, in your heart dwells how you treat people. In your heart dwells your purpose. In your heart dwells... The quality of life you're receiving and want to give to others, how you love people. And and if I, for example, rolled a dice on someone that has a spotty history, and I know there's people like, well, this can happen anyway. It, it, it definitely can. I'm like, anybody could not pay a bill, even if you got an 800 credit score. Of course. But you're more likely yeah. to see someone with a lower credit score not pay Amen. their bill. Yes. And that's the same thing I'm saying in this situation. That there's certain, and I remember a woman I was dating, it just comes to mind. She was beautiful, she was attractive, and we were trying to get to know each other. And the first red flag, and I think like when we're dating, we kind of playing that game red light, green light, like when we was kids. Mm. That movie's red light, green light. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you say red light, they freeze, green light, you can go. Yeah. And the, the first moment that made me freeze with this particular woman, she said, uh, can you come pick me up because my license revoked? Hold up. She didn't even say suspended. It's so dope. she You're said revoked. You're done, son. So automatically, <laughs> I got to hear the story of this. Yeah. DUIs. Several mm-hmm. DUIs. Several. Several, Several DUIs. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <Our records. laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, at this time I'm in my early 40s, she has to be 30s. Okay. You know? So I'm like, so we're, we're, still, we're still making these decisions in our 30s. 
Right, we we still it, taking it made, shots and driving. Bro, it. we we went on. I think it was one day. And that was it. That was it. That was. I really didn't want to go on a date, but I, you know, it was. I was yeah. going back and forth. What was the date? She was super cool, but she was brutally honest. Which, like you said, I respected it. I loved it. That was cool. But I also knew that we was headed in two different directions. Yeah. Well, she wasn't heading nowhere because she ain't had no license. Yeah. But <laughs> she was taking the bus. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> but 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 my whole point of it all was I just knew we was going in two different directions, yeah. and I didn't want to inherit that headache. Get an Uber to dinner tonight. You know. And I just I, so often because people would have saw her. She's a beautiful woman, light skin, nice body, red bone, long hair, all mm-hmm. hers. You know, like on yeah. when you see it, you be like, "Man, I could work with that." Yeah. But too often, as me and we work with stuff just off the physicality, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we find ourselves in a deficit down the road, mm-hmm. bro. Like you get to a point where it's like, "That's not enough for me. That's not enough for me. It right. just ain't." I, of course, I love attractive woman, but I, I more than anything, I love a woman that brings me peace. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yes. You can't beat peace, no. and you have to pay attention to. So we're called, I think everyone is called, the reason why we're here on earth is to share with people, right? And to help better people, you know, as we're bettering ourselves by getting to know God and seeking Him, right? So, um, but it's a thin line of helping those that need us, you know, change their mindset and put it like more toward Him. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like, you also have to be careful who you surround yourself with. Amen. Because of their their decision making. Like you said, right? We're here, you're in your thirties and we're still we're still doing doing yeah. this. Right. Even the people that we friend or what we're dating, yeah. We're not paying attention to people's decision making. You know? Mm-hmm. They got DUIs, right? Or yeah. they don't have a job. They're yeah. always in a disposition, they're always angry, they're always yeah. it, you know. Yeah. Um, they got tickets up the wazoo. It's yeah. like um, why are you having such a hard time with life? I mean, it's just really whipping your... your and, and let's be honest, man. Life... I don't know why people think life gets easier when you get married. To me, it becomes more complicated. Mm-hmm. It don't become easier. No. Because... I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard that it gets easier. I think people believe that. Like, really? or maybe women believe I, I could have... Yeah, I could that. see that. Yeah. Because, like, now you got somebody... Because yeah. they looking at her. I got somebody helping me with the bills. Yeah. I got somebody helping me raise kids. Yeah. I got somebody, you know what I mean, that's going to go half yeah. on if we trying to build something. Or, or, you know, or, or they just look at it from, like, a fantasy perspective. Like, I remember I have... Yeah, good the and white fence and... Yeah. But not even then. Like, it's kind of like a, like a dreamland fantasy that they have. It's the American you know? dream. No. No, no, it's kind of, it's kind of like a like a fairy tale type of vibe that they have, you know, like oh, I'm gonna you know be married, you know, like white dress and my knight is gonna be right there and my family and we're gonna be happily forever. Exactly, after. and that is because uh, and and I can tell you this because I have I have this friend, she was about to get married and she was like telling me like oh my god you know my life is gonna change and she was just so hopeful. You know, once she got married, bro, she was divorced within a year. Let me tell you that. <coughs> I you see know? why. Because, yeah, she had such high expectations. Like, her, her life was just going to completely change, you know. And then, I'm not, you know, she she ended up like, because we were kind of close. So, she would text me her issues in her marriage. Oh, that's I was like another red flag. I was like, yo, like, why are you telling me all these things about your man? You know what I mean? Like, that's between you and your her husband. husband. There right. you go. Right. Husband. Not her man, bro. Right. Okay, husband. That's so, you know, and I've seen that in, in, in many women that, like, they have this idea, yeah. you know, of marriage to be, like, something... Uh, it's not the finish line. And, and, and I want to say this, and this is what I feel like then you with don't women. Anymore. That's what I feel like with women. They look at it like the, the actual wedding getting married and I I obtained it, I arrived, I obtained the goal and the truth of it matter is just starting. That's when the work starts. That's when the work starts. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the problem that they dropped their guard and now they're yeah. comfortable and mm-hmm. and now what? Now what? There's more there's more to it than that yeah. day, man. Yeah, you know? Definitely. Yeah, you know, I agree. Man. And I think that's the failure of all of this, man. And you men, don't think men kinda 
have the same mindset as far as marriage is that finish line and they stop? No. No, not, you not at all. Not at all. Because we don't value it the same way women do. We look at marriage as something... Let's, just, let's, talk, let's talk honestly. Let's have a yeah. quick moment amongst yeah, us. Yeah, it's yeah, just me. Yeah. Would you get married? Mm-hmm. This is just on. I think women need to hear this. Would you get married yeah. if God would allow you to have sex outside of marriage? Would you pick one woman to be with for the rest of your life? No. Why? If I can be with a whole bunch of women. Mm-hmm. And, but, but let me tell you this. Wait, are there still STDs? Everything's still the same. Okay, I'm gonna, same rules apply. Same rules I'm going to say apply. this. I'm going to tell you this. If God allowed for me to have sex outside of marriage, mm-hmm. I don't think I would get married, especially... Honestly. Honestly. Especially with, you know, the state of, of the world right now. You know Absolutely. what I mean? So, um, is it safe to say? Now, I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, yeah. Is it safe to say, between you gentlemen, mm-hmm. that you're basically getting married so you can have guilt-free sex or sin-free sex? Yes. Is that a big portion of why you're doing it? Yes. Because I know that when, when okay, so when I'm in a situation where I can have that controlled environment, you know, I am more focused, you know, even in a relationship that is not marriage, but you still like, I'm not monogamous when I'm in this relationship, you are more focused, you are more than likely to, to just focus on the calling that God has given you, Robert, you know, and like, you, you, you're handling the sex part, you know, so you really don't want to go out there, you know, and risk what you have, mm-hmm. but you you still, you know, have that at your disposal, mm-hmm. you could say, you know, so that's... And, and that and that right there, how about you? I want to hear from you first before I, before I say what I'm going to say. Do you think it, 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 it is it's a factor, for sure. Is it a major sex. factor? I... I, I it's a major factor. <laughs> What's the footwork? Yeah, I guess because I do want so like so if I get married, when I get married, okay. say that, say that. Yeah, yeah. Right, y'all hear this lady? This man ready. So, uh, yeah. Take it easy, ladies. <laughs> so uh, I like the idea of having somebody I can trust by my side to help me work life together. Okay, you can still have that. Though. You know, you ain't gotta get married. If that remember the rules is you can have sex outside of marriage. That don't mean you can't have a a down chick. Mm-hmm. I think I'm at a point where I don't I don't want all of that because as I got older, I realized how just the drama that comes with seeing you know dating and multiple women and it's just and then like it kind of creates confusion. I think to me and this is something that I I realized when I got older. How do I know if I really truly enjoy this person that I'm trying to take serious, but yet I'm seeing other women, you know, and it's not serious, but it's something that that's yeah. out of potential. Absolutely. Then it kind of confuses me because oh, I do like her and I do like her, and then my feelings about the one that I want to take serious is a little warped and it's a little diluted. I can see that. You know, and yeah, it yeah. creates confusion. And I, I'm, 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 I'm noticing how I'm maturing, and I just want less of that and more realness, more Good. authenticity. That's nice. I get that. You know, I definitely get that. So se- sex is no, it's not. It's not. It's a major factor. I'm not gonna lie, to be honest. Yeah. But it's not <laughs> the only reason why. I no, want to get married. Look, look, and I want to put. I only get married so I can have sex. No, no, no. Feel free, ski. No, it, it, you know. I, yeah. <laughs> your face is saying something else, but no, I'll give you I hear you. I could agree yeah. with you. Like that. Okay, so that's not the like one of the the only thing I'm going to say the main thing but that's not the only thing you do want to build that relationship you want to have someone that has your back you know right. absolutely that yes. you can trust like you were saying but I mean for me sex is a big part of it absolutely absolutely I mean but the scripture alludes to that very thing man like it alludes in 1 Corinthians 7 it's better for men to, to marry than to burn with passion yes. you know so yeah, it's clear that God says, I understand, because that could be such a distraction. Yes. If you're burning with passion, and you can't really focus on what he's calling you to do, you know? So, I mean, it has its point. Yes. But, but, I, but, but I wanted to say that because I feel like women, they think we view marriage the way they do. Mm-hmm. We don't view it as this accomplishment, this threshold per, per se. It's a means to an end. It's a tool. It's a tool. It's a tool. Thank you. A tool yes. to keep me holy. Yes. 
Yes. A, yes. a tool to keep me pulp, yes. purpose Serving focused. Purpose. Yes. Right. But it's not this, oh my God, this emotional, I couldn't wait to do this thing. You know, it's just, no. it's not that. And I think no. women need to kind of have an idea of our hearts in that regard yeah. so they can see us honestly. Yeah. Well, did I cut you off? Would you want to say something? Uh, just about that verse, and maybe it's a little off topic. You know, it's better to marry than to burn. You know, um, I, just, I just wanted to touch on that a little bit because. Um, what do you do? You just go and find a, a wife on your own because you're burning. So it's better to marry, but isn't isn't God going to supply that for you anyway? Because you you need it. So that scripture kind of throws me off because it's like it's almost saying like you should like you're responsible for going to get you know this thing that you need of, which is a wife, because you can't stop you know well I, I guess, these chicks or you know right. beating it or whatever. I didn't see that verse that way. I, I saw that verse as for those people that may be a different religion, let's kind of post it that way, and think that the holiest way is to not have a wife at all and be like Christ or Paul or yeah. John the Baptist. Yeah. They say He's saying obviously everybody has their own gift, their own grace from God. Yeah. And you may not be graced to walk like Christ right. yeah. with no wife, you yeah. know. Okay. However, so it's better for those people that don't have that grace to go ahead, go ahead. and open their open their eyes and see what's around them to marry somebody. Yeah. It's versus just burning in their loins. But like and like, being distracted. like uh, Catholic priests. Exactly. That's yeah. that's what I was alluding yeah, that's to when I threw up the yeah. Well, that, their lust is just out of trouble. I mean, but no, but if you think about it, just touching that real quick, they're setting themselves up for failure. Absolutely. For because, sure. you know, they're trying to be celibate, you know. And, and they're, they're doing things in the dark. Correct. And, and it's like, they're men. And it's like that sexual desire just compounds, you know, and it's just in there, you know, trapped. Especially. No, for real. Especially though. when you're trying to fight this on your own yeah. because a lot of them don't have to sustain yeah i mean like i don't understand in, in any bible verse how they can understand it when the apostle peter was married mm -hmm. so i mean you was married you're praying they do prayers in peter's name you know so mm -hmm. they do so i mean i don't understand how you don't understand he was married saint peter jesus even healed his, uh, his mother-in-law yes. so how do you come up with i can't marry i can't marry and so they're suppressing something that's innate yeah. in everybody, and that's why it's coming up in such ugly forms with all the things we've yeah. been hearing about. Yes, that's a, a nasty outlet. That, yeah, and look, yeah. and, I, and I'm, I just want to put out there, I'm not condoning the, the behavior of those men, you know, the priests that molest uh, children, but it's like I do understand the nature of a man that, you know, when you suppress that so much, mm -hmm. it's going to start a leak somewhere else because... You know, you you have to find a, the, the proper outlet, which is a woman. Yeah. You know, and that is within marriage. Right. So, so I, would you would you uh, marry if you could have you know sex outside of marriage with no. whoever you wouldn't marry? No. You would just continue to yes to uh, mac all day long. No, I mean, may, and I may. I'm not going to say I'm mad because I feel like that's a distraction for me. Yeah, of course. But yeah. but what I would do is I probably would have one woman mm -hmm. that I'm into. Yeah. That's my woman. I don't have to marry you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just be faithful to that woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I have to? I mean, I don't, I don't have to talk to all these different women. Yeah. You know, I probably just have that one woman. And, I, and I'm being honest because that thing right there, bro, when you start talking about to death do us part and going to covenant with someone. And the way this crazy world is, you know, it's disturbing because yeah. everybody don't hold covenant the near and dear the yes, way they yes. should. Yes. And, they, and they don't prepare for covenant. Yeah. You know what I mean? They like I said, they think it's this one time event. And they're more to me in my mind when I think of women and the women I talk to, they're more excited about the day than the whole process yeah. of us building. Yeah. Right. You know, like you're putting so much invested in a moment mm -hmm. where I'm more interested in a life. Right. Yeah. And that Long takes time. work. That takes oh, pre yeah. preparation. That, that pray like I'm, like I feel like if if we're gonna go and coven together, I want to give you the best version of me. Yeah. I want to give you the best 
as far as my health, I want to give you the best as far as my credit and my finances and my relationship with God so I can be flexible and understanding and loving and kind. And I want to give you all of that. So that means I have to prepare myself in a way, right? And then you, you're doing all of this and then you have a woman over there just watching, you know, Hotwives of Atlanta, putting on weight, farting and eating Oreos and don't care just shop until she dropping and you like this ain't seem like it's a fair trade. Definitely. I'm giving you the best of me. Yes. And um Anything you're over here farting. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind farting. I mean I'm I'm being silly, but yeah. I'm just I, I don't know. I like like I agree with you. Like so yes. I take covenant a little bit more serious than than that. Yeah, that's why you know like whenever I'm kinda like I I guess like getting to know somebody, I ask them, like what do you think about commitment? Because to me, commitment and it's something so important. That's that's what's gonna keep us together, you know. Because look, I'm not trying to base everything. On, I don't know if I should say it or not, but I believe that facts are very important. And there's a study that was conducted where it shows that the majority of the divorces are initiated by women. I you read know? that. I read that. And that to me is concerning. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, if you're going to go into marriage, to be in a committed relationship, you have, I believe that from both ends, you have to fight like hell if, if you have to, to keep this covenant together. Like, this goes beyond the feelings, you know, this is about... It's duty. It's duty, it's legacy, you know? There's so many things on the line that... If someone, whether a man or a woman, is going to say, well, you know what, I don't feel like I love you anymore, I want out of this. Mm. That's not cool. And, and I, I'm glad you said that, bro, because I think the, the, the part that we don't talk about is what love is. And yes. I think like so many people think that love is a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's some type of overwhelming feeling that just makes you want to do incredible things for someone. Yeah. And I just don't believe that's the case. And I, 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 I like the verse where it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And I just believe love is this commitment to give to you, Reverend. I feel like it or, or not. not. Amen. Amen. You know, right. I, I, I feel like it's a sacrificial giving. Yes. And it's not a feeling. Now, if real feelings come, I'm sure yeah. they'll be there some days. Yeah. But then sometimes they won't be, but I'm yeah. still committed it's to it. It's that old school love. Yeah. I remember my, my mom being like so furious at my dad. He's still washing his clothes, making him dinner, all you know, all that just still just just yeah. regardless, you know. Because that's the duty. duty. Yeah. You know, the duty responsibility that you have towards yeah. your, your man, towards your woman. Right. It's a responsibility, yeah. you know. And then she honored they, back then they honored the company. Absolutely, absolutely. I wanna bring this back to the question at hand. I think right. we, we got a little bit off. We drifted. Yeah. No, that's all right though. But I want I wanna talk about this when we start talking about a woman's history. Yes. yes. Does a woman history? Because I feel like I feel like this generation feel like they can do anything. Mm -hmm. They can wild out. They can have orgies, menagerie. I used to strip. You know, they can Only actually fans. OnlyFans. You man, you went right down where I was going. <laughs> I was just about to say that. I feel like bro. Into, bro, this is like so they can do OnlyFans, yeah. and then when they're done with this season of their life, they can say, "Okay, uh, now I'm ready to get married." And he's like, there's consequences. That's my yeah. point. So you meet this dude. That's my that point. That you finally, right? Mm -hmm. Potential. Yeah. Marry. Uh, really, really enjoy him. And then you go ahead and share. Oh, my body count is kind of like my credit score. You know. <laughs> <laughs> even, even, <laughs> if it's, even if it's a low credit score in the six hundred, it's still it's a little crazy. crazy. The credit score that the bank will not approve you for. It's, it's still. Would, would that be a deal breaker? For it's you? a deal breaker immediately. <laughs> immediately is a deal breaker for right, me. Yeah. I mean, you you come in, walk in, and I hear a, hear a whistle. It's like, why? What's the whistle? <laughs> No, no, bro. I can't. I can't do it. Of course not. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. But the, but but we have to understand that certain passes disqualify you from certain things. Like even having a felony disqualify you from certain jobs. Yes, yes. So and I'm, I'm I'm saying this for the women that may be young and ain't and thinking about being a stripper, or, you know, because it's good money and they got a banging body. I want you to consider. 
Are you doing a 45 year old version of yourself justice? Will, will she give you a high five and say, thank you for those seven years of stripping? That really put me in a good position. No, she is not going to say that to you. Because even for us, you know, like sharing your past with a woman. Yes. I'm sure it has caused you a few I'm to, to I'm walk out. I'm sure. Yes, yes. I'm sure it has. I can't think of nobody. Women are more. Let me say this, though. Women are more forgiving than us. Yeah. They're way more forgiving. But let, but let me share this why I feel like that's the case. Because women are internal. So everything that happened, happened in them in their bodies and that place is like sacred it's like the holies of holies to me mm -hmm. and so you would let everybody be in inside of this holy temple this yeah. vessel yeah. and then you say i want to be with you i don't see you that way i don't see you as sacred you get yes. so that's kind of like with us we're outward yes so everything happened out it, it with our bodies but it's more outside thing you know this this is my logic this is my logic but women are way more forgiving when it comes to past. Why? I believe that's part of it. Yeah, cause they, they because they see us like that, they, though. Yeah, like, even, they, even they, if you think about... Because, uh, like, it's easily washed off? Or I, no, no like, but they see it. They kind of see us already, yeah. like... I ain't gonna say dogs, but we, we... So they're expecting us to have a dog history. So well, what are you gonna, to, How to are you gonna treat me now? Yeah, yeah, to yeah, some degree. Now. And I look, to look some degree. even amongst I, I, women... They judge themselves by that criteria, whether they they admit it or not. Because you've seen women that, if you hear them talk like, "Oh yeah, you know she's a hoe or whatever," mm -hmm. and and look at her, you know she's being really easy or you know things like that. They hold themselves to that category, even though nowadays they're like, "You slay girl," you know, right. like when they're, you know, going after many different men and and they're telling themselves like, "Yeah, you know, it's your body and." Yeah, it's all pro hope. The, the whole yeah. So you know this liberation and, but yeah. deep down inside, they know, you know, I shouldn't be allowing just think, any man, you know, to to access me so easily. Right. Because they want to do what we're doing because we're doing it. They can do it too. The equal, you know. Of course. Yeah. I can do what you. But really, they're destroyed because they weren't built to do stuff like of course that. it's kind of so like they're, they're damaging themselves in ways they, they like they're not even realizing mm -hmm. absolutely we're just we're damaging ourselves too it's well, just the sure, difference sure. it's, it's just it just manifests differently yeah. that's why you have so many different men that's so emotionally detached right yes. because we have taken sex and emotion are totally on two different yeah. parallels yeah, you know exactly. what i mean You're right bro. yeah and, right. and that's why it's, it's more like entertainment to us and it don't supposed to be that no. it's supposed to be like like when we take communion in church, yeah. a reminder. Like when we yeah. take communion, that's a reminder of the covenant yeah. that we entered into and the sacrifice that yeah. Jesus made on our behalf. When we have sex, if we was to take it back to the original origin, how God wanted it to be, where we was having sex with virgins and breaking hymens and yeah. reminding ourselves of, okay, now I done broke your hymen on our wedding night. And ah, now, night. now when we have sex, it's a reminder of yes. when we entered into the yeah. covenant right. and our bond and our union. And yeah. there's supposed to be an emotional attachment to that. Yeah. Now we just bend over and we just doing whatever mm -hmm. to women. And right. it's just, that's not what God had in mind either. Definitely. So it has affected us, man. Yeah, sure. And that's why women right. say, that's why women say they dogs. They don't care. And half of us don't, bro. Our, right. our emotions left when we 15 years old you know what I mean 17 I years old I agree yeah, so, I agree. yeah. And, and that's it, it's bad though it's bad because we have men that's yeah. in a marriage yeah. they love the woman but they can't understand affection and emotional attachment at all like, like they totally void of it not understand we are logical creatures but that don't mean we supposed to be totally emotionally absent Right. Definitely. Totally having no feelings about yeah, of course, yeah. how a woman feels or, or, or their their views on things. We You're just right. we shouldn't be void of Yeah. Them. I mean yeah. As, as men we, we are protected. I mean, we can't be, you know, crying in front of our women. You know, no, so that's not cool. No, no, we're not. What? not we're not going to wipe your face, you know, you're man a up. man. You're no, still a man, but they can't be void of it, you know. No, we're to be protectors. Right. We're to, to to create this environment that where women can thrive. I really believe that's yeah. the function of a man. That's good. You know? That is good. So when when you lack no, when you have the attachment issue, they can't thrive as you, well. You know, you are not creating that, that environment that yeah. they need because you your emotions are not really there. You know, you kinda you kinda don't care as much as you should. 
bro. And, 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 and you know what it is? It's not that you don't care. Because you love the woman. Yeah, yeah. You just don't know how to express how you there care. You, there you don't know how to connect with her yeah. on, on, on the highest level for women because they're emotional. Yeah. So there is a complete wedge between you and your woman. Yeah, I agree. And that's why God was telling us not to have sex before marriage because he knew that it would harden our hearts. Yes. He does. knew that it would make us look at them like they're more of a, a thing than a person. I agree with that. And that's what... Well, Satan has done his job. Yeah, he's done a When you start job. talking about how what we do with porn, yeah, and, you know what I mean. Like we have totally cut emotion out of sex. Yeah, yeah. you know, and and that may be probably a huge reason. Now I'm thinking about it, why marriages are failing. Yeah, it's a means to an end. It's a means to an end, man. He has cut out the the love in it. It's just like you said, a means to an end, a release point. Yes. Yeah, and that's I don't believe that's what he had in mind at all. Definitely. So, are there any specific deal breakers for you that you, that, that, that that you have in mind? Like, what if you know some history is not you know you can't easily just forget get rid of mm -hmm. you know and you know she had she told you she has herpes you know not easily <laughs> can't easily get rid of that you know she brought some friends from her past <laughs> yes so. yes she brought some baggage <laughs> so look. <laughs> Like literal, <laughs> literal baggage. Like I said, man. What that would you be like? Ah, oh, sorry. It's gonna be a bumpy wow. road. It's gonna be a bumpy road. <laughs> like <laughs> y'all stupid. Uh, like I said, man. It's I have to. I mean, it's to count the cost. Like I'm. You all. You always have to ask this question. Am I willing to pay the price for this relationship? So would you pay, pay the price? No. But that would that that would be a deal breaker. Yeah, thing. man. I mean, it's like okay. So I know I'm gonna get it. Eventually. Now I have to get on medication. Yeah, or not. Her. Or not. Or you may not. You want me to burn? Like, you may not get it. Or, no, no, no. I'm saying you may get it, but you, I mean you could still live without the medication. Well, it's still. I mean, y'all only spread it. Y'all already both got it. Yeah. Right. It's just so like it, you know, don't you know? You guys man. become one. Mm -hmm. Just one big bunk with the herpes, but. What if, what if, like, you know, you work around the outbreaks, you know what I'm saying? But, like, she's probably one of the, the coolest and most awesome woman that yeah. you've ever met. Like I said, man. <laughs> he is really navigating as well. Uh, you know, you have, I have to really sit there and say, am I willing to pay the price for this? So are you. I mean, as of right now, no. Hypothetically. Hypothetically right speaking, now. right you? now, no. I cannot. Is it a no for you? <laughs> I've been saying no to everything. You have been. <laughs> but, but this, this, this is bigger than that. Because what's hitting me is making me think about Hosea. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. And so you how how God called Hosea to marry a harlot, a prostitute. Yes. Right? yes. And so let me let me give an account for that as well because it could be. God is putting a particular person on your heart mm -hmm. that is outside your whole scale of what you were yes. ever married. Yes, yes. And and telling you to overlook those seven kids she has and uh, take her in and be your wife. <laughs> but what, now, now, now listen, that that is a possibility. But 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 my thing is this, y'all. My thing is this. That's going to be the exception and not the norm. Right. Of course, I it's going to be that. so rare. And I think about uh, Joyce Meyer. Why? Because her husband was a mature believer, mm -hmm. and Joyce Meyer, from what I understand, was a new believer and had a lot of issues. A lot. And from what I understand, her husband, for whatever reason, God was motivated that he felt like he was just really being led to marry this woman. You know what I mean? Like despite all her issues, yeah. I don't say God. I can't remember that portion, but he ended up marrying her despite all her issues. But and he knew coming in the door that this was going to be an uphill battle right but look what she became became yeah. right you know so and, and she, we don't know where to go no, behind Joyce, closed doors no but, but Joyce Meyer actually gives a lot of credit to her husband she, she does. does she always she says, does. yeah she says hey he put up with me and I learned a lot about God's love because of his patience she always the way she does. That, yeah, she that, does that he was with me yeah yeah and, and that and that is a possibility as well yes. now, now, exception, because I, what I like, I hear women say that they'll take the exception and then they say this is the standard. Yeah, no, you know, they get hold the exception. See, she got married. Like this is one out of a million. You really right. want to take 
take the chance yeah. of, of of staining your past that bad mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. it's a it's a long fake chance that somebody will spend the rest of their life with yeah, you. No, Don't do that. Definitely not. Don't do that. That's not wisdom. Not at all. No. Not at all. You have to increase your chances of success. You know, and like, look, I'm not trying to be so picky, but I was having a conversation, you know, with with uh, someone I'm dating, I was telling her, like, I'm trying to increase my chances for us to succeed. You know, why am I going to put myself in a situation where I know that I have to go through this, like, obstacle course, you know, to to have a good life with you? Yeah. Like, that's not... We are giving ourselves more work if we go that route than what we need to. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I think we said enough on this, man. I think we did. I'm going to let this one be history. Amen. Listen, y'all, I want to hear from y'all. Hey, put down below in the comment section, y'all. Yes. What's a deal breaker for you? What would make you say, we're history? And don't forget to share this. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to remember to say our tagline that we always going to say together is, we going to say what, what the church, church won't say. say. Hey, till next time, we love y'all. This is what the church won't say. Where we have difficult, difficult conversations like babies. Oh, sorry. I, w- I was supposed to say that. You're right. You're supposed to say it. What just happened? We're having difficult conversations like babies. Like that's you know, a that's a weak bar. That's, that's a weak bar. Uh, I, that's I, thought weak. Weak. I thought it was good. You'll get a tomato here. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible <laughs> tomato bar. to the turtle. Bleep. You are watching what the church won't say, where we have difficult conversations at the foot of the cross. It's a little aggressive, don't you think? Man, man bro, was you about to rap after that? About the game. But we have. I think he threw up the fork. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> he did. What was okay. wrong, bro? I don't know. I'm you all right? To bring some energy. Hey, loosen that top button. Okay. Do okay. <laughs> it tight. Can you show a little knee? You don't want to show no, a little, show no, a little I, knee? No, I, I don't want to show a little. I'll leave that to you and you north side boys to do what y'all do. Woo! That's a lot of ghostliness. Yeah. Casper Easy. Yeah, it's God's glory. <laughs> That's why he didn't yeah. burnt, yeah. burnt the retina yeah. in my left eye. Yeah. Ooh, don't move it. You blind somebody. <laughs>